So today I really wanted to talk about, I think, number one, the most underrated method of healing, of implementing a new healing practice, is I think not listening to your true body's needs and really not acting on them and acting on them rather with your mind being too much in your head than acting on them with your heart and doing the things you really desire and crave. Um, so when I started my healing journey it was because of my gut issues, because of my mental health issues, I had endometriosis and I had cysts on my ovaries and I always thought that I needed to know every little detail, like I needed to educate myself so much on those topics, like I need to know all of the formulas, I need to know what exactly our body needs, like every vitamin, every mineral. Um, I wanted to soak up all of that information and really I didn't know that in order to heal I actually need to be more myself. I thought that I need to be less of myself because this wasn't clearly working and it's not like you know you need to do a change but you need to be more of yourself you need to listen to your own needs and act on them without being in your mind in your head too much not acting on them with your head and with your mind but acting on them with your heart like acting on your desires like acting on your needs and let me tell you a story about it um, how I actually realized that I was already high raw and I thought that my digestion will heal because of it but I also lived like a stressed lifestyle, a busy lifestyle and I tend to go on walks every day in nature just to clear out my mind and I went and I always want to like go on the paths that are more in nature like more in wild nature and explore the nature and just go in the unknown so I did I chose the path by the river in the forest and I saw like a beach by the river that was really sandy there was a lot of sand it was on the sun and it was quite beautiful and I felt the need to play with that sand to touch it to dig my hands in it to feel how cool it is how it's running through my fingers just to feel its texture just to soak in all of the experience with just playing with the sand but then my mind was thinking you can't do it because you will feel and you will seem silly and funny to other people like what if somebody will pass by and they will laugh at you because you're playing like a kid you're not a kid anymore you can't be doing that because it is not your age appropriate but this time I didn't choose to listen to my mind and I acted on it I acted a little different and went with this need and with this desire just to experiment just to see what happens so I did I went there and I play with the sand, I dig my hands 
in the sand. Feel its cool temperature. And I felt it running through my fingers. How warm it is on the surface. And then I felt the need to put my hands in the water and play with the wet sand and feel all of its texture and structure and make shapes out of it like I was a child and just go with every need that I felt in my body and express it and it felt so good, it felt so right and so natural to do it and my body felt really satisfied so I was doing it for about five minutes or so and when I was coming there I felt really bloated um, I felt really uncomfortable and within five minutes in doing it I didn't feel bloated at all and I didn't feel constipated at all because usually when I would feel bloated I was also constipated so I felt that the bowel movement is coming. It was an instant relief of my bloating and constipation. And I just didn't know what I did to relieve that. And later on I actually realized why it was that helpful. Like for the first one, I was squatting in a malasana kind of pose. This is a yoga pose, which is really, really beneficial for your digestion and it causes a lot of relief of bloating, of constipation, of general pain in your abdominal area. So I was in that pose for most of the time. And the other thing was that in nature, nature is full of negative ions and when you would look closely your diseases and your pains, discomforts, they are full of positive ions. So when you're touching natural surfaces, you're actually balancing out your positive ions, so your disease with negative ions. So that's why it also helps. And also like I reduced my stress levels and I went out of the survival mode. And whenever you're in your survival mode, you are never creating your health because you are just surviving. You just want to survive to that situation that got you in that survival mode. Like your body just, just wants to go through it and just wants it to end and your body is not thinking of your optimal perfect digestion in that time. So I went to thriving mode where you actually can create health because your body's focus is not, is not on just surviving, but it's actually on creating. It actually can create optimal digestion. Not just digestion, but optimal digestion. That's what we want. So those three aspects were covered, so that's why it helped me. And it helped me in just the right time because I acted on it. Because I felt that sudden need or sudden desire. And I just went with it. And I wasn't listening to my mind or my head. I just did it so. And it happened a lot more. Um, so I saw like the pattern of what was I doing, I was acting on it, I was going with my desires and with my needs and this is what was the result, the result was optimal digestion, optimal health and reducing all my diseases. So I think that this is actually like the most powerful practices that you can possibly be doing and that you that most of the people are keeping ignoring it.